Jeans are one of the most popular clothes out there. However, sewing denim might be a bit intimidating. Well, I want to show you how to tame this fabric. Hi, my name is Julie and I'm professionally trained seamstress. I love wearing jeans, but sewing denim used to scare me. Well, there are a few tips and techniques that I want to share with you today that will help you master this fabric. I promise you by the end of this video you will know how to handle the denim fabric, it won't scare you as much and you will be itching to make your first denim garment. This video is created in partnership with needle industry experts Oregon Needles. So let's begin from the start. What is denim fabric? Denim is fabric created from cotton and it's a woven fabric created using twill weaving method. Twill weave is the reason why denim has that distinguished texture. It's also the reason why it's so sturdy and robust. And also it's the reason why denim has the right and the wrong side of the fabric. Denim fabric was created more than 150 years ago and it's one of the most popular materials for clothes nowadays and probably everyone has at least one denim garment in their closets. And the reason for that is that denim fabric is very easy to maintain, it's very easy to wash, take care, and it lasts a very long time. Time. When you're making denim garment from scratch, here are a few things I want you to consider when choosing denim fabric. So historically, denim is made from 100% cotton fabric, however nowadays we do have several variations. The original 100% denim will be robust and durable. However, if you're like me and you want a little bit more comfort, I suggest looking for denim that has a few percentages of either elastane or lycra in it, which will give fabric its stretch. Because of the stretch, the garment will be a bit more comfortable to wear. And it's personally for me, it's a preferred type of denim whenever I'm buying ready-made denim jeans. You may also find raw or washed denim. So what that means, the raw denim is not washed during the processing, so it will be a bit more sturdy and also it does have a little bit of risk of color bleeding later on. While the washed denim, like the name suggests, is washed during the processing to reduce the risk of color bleeding later on. When you know a specific type of garment that you will be making from denim, I suggest also paying attention to denim weight. So for example, the 300 gram per square meter denim is considered lightweight and it will work great for trousers or shirt. However, 500 grams per square meter denim is considered heavy weight and it will work perfectly for outwear jackets. When you're sewing denim at home, note that the heavier the denim weight, the more tricky it will be to sew on the domestic sewing machine simply because of the bulk that heavyweight denim will create. So now that you have your denim fabric selected, let's talk about tools that you need to sew this fabric. So first I will address the elephant in the room that having industrial sewing machine like this one will make sewing denim very much easier. I'm not saying you cannot sew denim a domestic sewing machine, you totally can. However, because of the bulk and the sturdiness of the fabric, it will be a bit trickier and you will need a bit more patience. So if you're planning on sewing denim only from time to time, if you're planning only to do repairs for jeans, for example, domestic sewing machine is totally fine. However, if you plan on sewing lots of denim in the future, if you want to sew for clients, if you want to open your own shop or something like that, I would consider industrial machine because it will make sewing denim easier. I don't say this very often and denim is probably one of the rare exceptions when I do have to say that yes, industrial machines are a bit healthier in handling this fabric. Since denim is thick, sturdy, heavy duty fabric, you need to sew it using a heavy duty thread. Now, when you're at sewing supply store, you will see that they usually have either a dedicated denim thread or they will have a suitable heavy duty purpose thread. Denim threads usually come in either different shades of blue so that you can match it with the color of the denim you're working on or it will come in different shades of color brown so that you can create the contrast 
contrasting look. Now, which one to choose, blue or brown? It's totally up to you and it does depend on what kind of finished look you're going for. So to follow thick thread, thick material, you need an appropriate needle. Orga Needle's jeans needle has a slim point, that's why it's good for sewing thick materials like denim, canvas or faux leather. Sewing difficult fabrics like denim using the right needle is extra important because it will help you avoid skip stitches and reduce the risk of needle and thread breakage. Organ needle jeans needles come in sizes 90, 100 and 110 and you should choose the needle based on the thickness of the denim fabric you're working on. So the general rule is the thicker the fabric, the higher needle number. So organ needles jeans needles are available in either a single purpose packs like this one or you can find them in either combi or multi packs. In this way you get several different purpose needles including jeans needle. So if you want to sew a lot of denim, you know that this is a fabric that you will be choosing a lot, I suggest choosing a dedicated jeans pack. However, if you are planning on only doing jeans repairs from time to time, then maybe having an assorted selection of needles will work better for you. Remember that needles are consumable products. This is why you have to change them regularly to have the best seam quality. Orga needles, jeans needles are created for both domestic and industrial sewing machines. So choose the type that works for your sewing machine. Now, as for closures, when you're sewing denim fabric, I do recommend using metal hardware instead of plastic one. So think metal zippers or buttons. There are dedicated buttons that have a very distinct appearance and you know what I am talking about. So use those instead of the plastic hardware because plastic hardware will have a difficult time to maintain the heavy duty-ness of the denim fabric. So for sewing denim, the machine thread and needle are the core elements that will guarantee the sewing success. However, there are a few additional tools that will help you sew better and easier. So the first tool that I want to show you is the bulk seam guide. This little tool is created to help lift the presser foot when you're sewing across the bulk fabric. I have a dedicated tool, however, you can go around it and there is a hack, so to say, so you can use a thicker cardboard and to help elevate the presser foot the same way. Another thing that I do recommend using for sewing denim is a thimble. I know not everyone likes to use thimble, but I do recommend and encourage to use, especially when working with thick fabrics like denim. So the first reason why is that it will protect your finger and you won't like stab yourself with a needle. And the second thing, and even more importantly, it will give you extra power to push through the material and when you're sewing with thick fabric like denim, it will give you that extra power boost that you need. Denim fabrics usually use a lot of top stitching, so to help sew faster and easier, you can use top stitching foot. One side of the top stitching foot is moving upwards, right up and down. So what it gives, it balances the seam and you're able to sew along the edge of the seam fold easier and without having to worry that you're sewing at the exact distance. And for pressing denim, which is also important, a thing called tailor's clapper will be very handy to really, really lock in those seams in their position. Okay, so now we talked about the fabric itself, the tools and supplies, and now let's talk how to sew denim. When sewing denim, you have to think about two things. First is managing bulk and second is top stitching. Now, because denim is quite a thick fabric, it does bulk up very easy and the thicker the fabric, the more bulk you will get and it will be quite difficult to handle, especially on the domestic sewing machine. So to manage the bulk, you want to use seam finishes that help reduce the bulk. So think serging, that is very common seam finish for denim 
or think buy a tape finish that again helps manage the bulk. When sewing denim you want to avoid seam finishes like French seam because it does add more bulk to the seam. And in case of denim not only will look bulky but they will also kind of stand out more and will reduce the flexibility of the denim. Another great way of sewing denim is using felt seam which creates a little bit of bulk but it also helps create an extra durable seam. So this is why you will find felt seam on the sides or the inside on jeans clothing. The most difficult part to sew is the hem. Now for the hem, denim garments are usually finished with a double fold and when there are seam connections there are just so many layers going on. So one tip that will help you is clipping seam allowance at each fold line and then pressing the seam allowance to different sides. This way when you fold the hem it will be a little bit less bulky when there's seam connection. And again when sewing through bulk use the bulky seam guide or use a few layers of thicker cardboard to help elevate the presser foot and sew through the bulk easier. Okay, so now we talked about bulk and now let's talk about top stitching. If you have a possibility, I do recommend top stitching foot. It will help you sew top stitching way, way, way easier and I personally love to use it. However, if you do not have the top stitching foot, that's fine. You can sew with the standard foot. However, the trick here is to pay attention not to needle but to keep focusing on how the fabric edge aligns with which part of your presser foot. So when you decide on a specific distance that you want to do your top stitching from the edge of the fabric, make sure you notice and how the edge of the fabric lines with your presser foot and your core thing when sewing will be focusing that that point always matches the edge of the fabric. And this is the method in which way you will always get equal distance from the edge. For the top stitching again use either the contrasting denim thread or a matching shade denim thread. I do recommend doing top stitching only when you know that the garment fits you well. So before starting top stitching put the garment on, see how it looks on you and only then proceed with top stitching. Lastly when you're sewing with a lot of bulk doing top stitching can be tricky especially on the hem. A lot of times people like to use pins on the hem. However, I do recommend using base stitch instead of the pins because when you put pins through the fabric it kind of creates this slight bump and it will be just a little bit more difficult to sew a straight line considering that denim is a thick fabric while base stitch will help you sew easier with less problem and less bumps. So this is everything that I wanted to teach you today about sewing denim fabric and I wanted to show you the dress from denim fabric that I recently made. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!